Photoshop has introduced a new feature that allows you to remove reflections in Camera Raw Filter. To enable it, open the settings within Camera Raw Filter, navigate to Technology Previews, and ensure you check the box for new AI features. After doing this, restart Photoshop. I've already enabled it, so let me show you how it works. In the Erase section, you'll find a setting for Distraction Removal. Here, you can select Reflections and let Photoshop process the photo. Keep in mind that this feature currently only works with RAW photos. It doesn't support JPEGs or other formats yet, though Adobe plans to extend compatibility to JPEGs in the future. Once Photoshop processes the photo, you'll see a slider. Setting it to 100 removes the reflections, while moving it to negative 100 completely reveals them. Let's set it to 100 and see the result. It did a pretty great job, actually. It's not perfect, though. Some areas were not removed, like this white spot here. Also, the reflection of the photographer in her glasses can still be visible, so it doesn't work with small details. After applying the reflection removal, you can continue changing the other settings. I'll adjust the exposure, add some contrast, reduce the highlights a bit, and boost the shadows. I'll also make some changes to the whites and blacks, then apply a subtle curve. You can click open and manually remove any remaining distractions using the remove tool. Let's test it on another photo. Here, we have a reflection caused by a prism. We'll select reflections in the erase section again and allow Photoshop to process the image. This time, the reflection is mostly gone. Moving the slider to negative 100 reveals the original prism effect, which you can save as an overlay if you want. However, this feature still has limitations. In another example, I tried to remove reflections from these small lights at the top. The tool made the reflections less noticeable but couldn't eliminate them entirely. Overall, I think it's really helpful and an interesting add-on to Camera Raw Filter. What do you think of this feature? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to learn more, check out this video on the screen recommended by YouTube. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Creative Society.